welcome back to my channel Burst of Sunshine. It's Ashley and today we're gonna do like a little crafty type video. I have a best friend who absolutely loves Freddie Mercury from Queen. I got this random crazy idea how great would it be for her to have a like huge cardboard cutout of him and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Um, I can't guarantee this is the best way to do it or anything like that. This is just how I'm gonna go about doing it. I just think she needs a big cardboard cut out of him maybe for her office and you can do this with any picture you want you can make a picture of yourself you can make a picture of your friends all right guys hello i am winging this as i go so um if things aren't perfect i apologize but i'm pretty confident that we can do this so let's get started so we're starting on my computer because we need the image that we're going to do the cardboard cutout. if you are going to do an image of yourself and you need to take it go take a photo. I suggest maybe taking it in front of a solid background. I feel like that will be easier for removing the background, but that's totally optional. Um, but yeah, first you need to get your picture. If you, it's just a picture of yourself or someone you know, boom, you got it. I am going to do something different. So I think I'm going to search up Mr. Freddie Mercury and I'm going to make sure I search up a full body picture because I do want it to be a full body cutout. So I'm going to search Freddie Mercury full body. I like this one. I really love the one with his arm up in the air, um, but I feel like that would be a very tall cutout to make. <laughs> it looks very hard. So I'm thinking this one looks a little bit more friendly <laughs> for what I'm doing. So I'm going to right click it and open image in new tab. I like to save my images like that. Now listen guys, this is for personal use. I, I don't own anything that has anything to do with Freddie legally. <laughs> um, my friend just really loves them and I'm just going to give this to her as a gift. I think she's going to love it. All right, I have opened another tab and in here I have went to lunapic.com and I'm just going to upload my photo of Freddy. Hit upload. And we have our beautiful picture of the wonderful Freddy Mercury. So now um, I'm going to make the background transparent. Now, as you can see, it gives you a quick link here for background removal tools, and that's actually where we're gonna go. But if yours isn't giving you this option here, which it should, you can go right over here to edit, and at the very bottom, transparent background, boom. I'm gonna hit this because they recently added a new feature where it just automatically takes your background off for you. And here it is, automatic background removal for photos. So we're gonna click this, and when we click this, it's going to automatically remove the background from Freddie. I see one little spot that it didn't take off perfectly. No big deal. It also took off a little extra of his shoe, but his shoe is white. So once I print that out on a piece of paper, I can like recreate his shoe. It's not a big deal. I'm not super concerned about the shoe. So while we're still here on Lunapic, now that we've got the background removed, we are going to crop um, Freddy here. So I'm going to, I'm in the cropping section and I'm just going to crop him down. The reason I'm cropping it is because I want him to be the height that I'm trying to make him. Now that we have this done, we're gonna go right underneath the picture here and we're gonna click save. Now what is that gonna do? It's gonna save your picture. <laughs> and now we have our picture of Freddy downloaded. Now that we have Freddy cropped, we are going to upload him into a program where we can print him onto a poster or multiple sheets of paper, which is what we're going to do. I don't have a printer capable of a poster, so we're going to do multiple sheets of paper. So, As you can see here, I have Googled Freddie Mercury's height so we can see how tall he is. He is five foot nine inches, which is about 69 inches tall. So we're gonna use that to roughly estimate about how many sheets of paper we need to put him on. So. I have pulled up here, rasturbator.net. Um, if you guys have seen some of my older wood cutting videos, you've probably seen me use this website before. It's been a long time, but I have used this a few times and it's just a really easy way to make your images large where they print on multiple sheets of paper. Okay, so now we have Freddie here. We have this changed two inches. As you can see here, it will show you the poster size. And right here, the poster size with the margins cut away is the one we want to look at. Um, and also it will tell you how many papers it is taking to print. So I am going to be changing this to US letter because that is what I will be printing on. And as you can see, it did make him a little bit taller. However, 
Um, I left a gap below and above his head to kind of make up for that. So as you can see, there'll be some couple inches on each and hopefully that brings him a little closer to the height he's supposed to be. Um, I would say in order, if there's a specific exact height you're wanting to get, you would probably need to be very specific with how much space you leave on top and bottom. But this is just for funsies, but it's fine. So let's just hit continue and move on to the next step. So now on this rasturbation, which this is a rasturbator, as you can see, it kind of makes the image into little dots. We, we don't want that right now. I mean, that's super cool if you want to do that. There's lots of different kind of edits you can do on these images, but because I just want this to be a full size, regular looking cutout, we are going to select no effects and that is going to just put him back to his normal self. So we are going to hit continue. We are gonna do multicolor because I want, you know, it to look realistic, as realistic, I guess, as you can with a image of a person being printed out on multiple sheets. And then we're gonna hit continue again output it's going to be the plain enlargement and then we are going to complete 32 page poster now they do give the option to donate if you can that's great and now it has it in our downloads so we're going to go to our downloads and we're going to find this big humongous 32 page poster of freddie mercury and again you can make this as big or as small as you want it it will save it as rasturbation since that's the website and it will save it as a pdf so if you pull this up Yes, and he is going to be a little bit blurry because I did just take a picture off the internet and print it. But I think it's still going to turn out super cool. As you can see, we have all of these sheets here. I'm pretty excited. I think it's going to be awesome. Now that we have this ready, it's time to print. Make sure when you're printing that you are printing at 100% and you're not like scaling it down to fit. You want it to print the exact size that it is saved at. Alrighty, here we are. We have our pages printed with our amazing picture on it. Again, you can print anything you want. You can print a picture of yourself. You can print a picture of someone for their birthday to put up at a party. Just anything you want to do. Now they are a little blurry, but it will totally work. So as you can see, this comes with these little cut guidelines and that's like where you trim the paper so it all matches perfectly. Um, I love these little guidelines, they're handy. Um, I get screwed up sometimes cutting them, but they are still very handy. So I have this little paper cutter here that I got at Walmart. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Um, it's a smaller size one, so it will only do the tops and bottoms of the pages, but it is handy for cutting a straight line and you can buy bigger ones that will do a whole page. I just didn't have one. So I am going to use this to cut the tops and bottoms just so I can get a good straight cut. I did end up having to take scissors and cut the sides and you're going to do this for all of your papers. Like every single one of them, mine had over 30. So this was a, this was a process. And so I'm just going to go through and trim all of my pages until all of the borders are gone off of them. Some of them with white edges, it can get a little confusing if you've, you know, cut your border off correctly. But if you didn't, we can always fix it when we're patching it together. You'll find out if you have gaps. So here I am taking some scissors and I'm just cutting off this excess border next to Freddie's face. I try to cut right where the image ends, but not cut off any of the image. But you don't want to leave a white gap either or there'll be white lines in the middle of your cutout. So I'm just going to do that like a billion more times here um, as I go through all of these pages and cut off all of the borders. And don't worry, I won't make you sit through every single one of them. I'm just going to cut a few and then we're going to jump to another scene because I think you get the general idea. Now that we have these pretty much cut, um, we need to put them together like a puzzle. So we're going to go do that now. We're going to jump to my kitchen floor where I will show you how I did this. So let's go. We are here in my uh, kitchen floor with air images that we have cut out for the most part um, and we are going to paste them together like a big huge poster. That's pretty much what we're going to do um, today. So I have these, some of them aren't fully cut out so I do have some scissors because as I'm taping them together I'm sure I will discover if there's gaps I need to cut. So um, yeah, because I don't know if I cut them right the first time. I know, right? Um, I also have some scotch tape. That is just what I'm going to do to initially put it together. I'm gonna to probably go back over it later with some packaging tape to secure it. But for today, just for piecing it together like a puzzle, just to see what we got working for us, we're just gonna use some cheap old scotch tape. 
So I'm going to, I'm in my floor here because this guy is like almost six feet tall or something. So I'm going to need a lot of space. So I have my whole floor here where I can spread this out. My daughter's napping. So I have a, bit, a little bit of time to do this without her coming in and going nuts on it. So we're going to tackle this right quick. So all I'm going to do is just try to put it together like a puzzle. So we'll just see how it works. All right, so here you can see me kind of just piecing these together like a puzzle. Um, I got rid of some of the extra white sheets we didn't need, and I just kind of laid these out on my floor to see how this was going to look all together. Um, I could already see this kind of coming together, and I was so, so, so excited. This is a good time to see if you left any borders on that need trimmed or any gaps in your images that need, also need trimmed. I'm taking scotch tape, you can't see because I'm blocking it, and I'm kind of like piecing together the pieces with the scotch tape so they hold in place. I'm just doing like one per sheet. I'm not like covering the whole end with scotch tape. I'm just putting a piece just to kind of basically hold it together enough. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going through with scotch tape and I'm just taping the pieces together. I don't know about you guys, but I love a good puzzle. So this was fun for me, even though it's not exactly a hard puzzle. Um, but yeah, it just take your time, piece them together as close together and as accurately as possible because you don't want gaps and lines in your image. So now we're going to get some cardboard for our cardboard cutout and so I decided in the sake of recycling things I already have and doing this on the cheap, I'm going to take old Amazon boxes and Walmart boxes that I have from orders I've made and I'm just going to cut them so they are flat and then I'm going to maybe uh, tape them to sturdy them up and then I'm going to attach them to the back of Freddy. So now I'm going to break down this box. Um, so I'm pretty much just going to cut all the tape off of it and then open all of the seams where the box was put together so it's one big flat piece. If you do not have a huge box like this, it's not a big deal. You can totally take all kinds of small Amazon boxes or any kind of boxes you can find and recycle them and just piece them together. I just thought it would save me some time with the piecing and patching if I had like one big box. The lines and creases in this box did cause me a little issues as far as stability, but I just went back in with another layer of cardboard to, you know, sturdy it up a little bit. So it's not a big deal if you don't have a big box because I still had to reinforce it with extra pieces anyways. So as you can see, I unfolded this box and this thing was massive. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim all of the white off of Freddy, get all of that excess off. I did decide to cut his microphone stand short so we didn't just have a big bar sticking off the edge of the cutout that could easily be damaged. So I left him in two pieces so he was easily stored away in between the times that I was crafting because I was not able to get this whole project done in one day. It... So here as you can see I'm still just cutting the excess off of Freddy and I can already see him coming together guys. I'm so excited for this. This is actually not that hard of a project to do and it's so fun to watch it come together. So this is what Freddy is currently looking like. I still have to attach him here like at the waist um, and I need to cut this piece out. All right, so now I'm going back to my cardboard that I laid out. Yes, I know I'm jumping around. This is just the process and how I did it. And I'm just gonna tape together the little flaps that are separated so it's almost like one big flat piece. Now I'm going to take Freddy and I'm going to glue him down with a glue stick. I do feel the need to warn you that my glue stick did not hold super well. I did have to go back in with um, more glue and tape to hold him down, but it did give me a base to kind of keep him in place, at least for the most part. But I wouldn't rely solely on this stick glue because it did not quite hold well enough for me. So I just put a little glue on his legs and I glued him down and then I just went in sections going up his body so that way I could make sure he lined up and didn't accidentally stick where he wasn't supposed to. So here I am working on his top half now. I'm going to be putting some glue on one section and gluing it down and then I flip up the other section and so on and so forth until I have Freddy completely glued down to my big huge cardboard piece that I have laid out. Now if you're patching this together, I would just patch the 
boxes together first into a big layout and then glue it onto it. But you could totally just cut and trim the boxes to fit the cutout too. That just seems a little bit harder to me. But it's totally up to you how you want to do it. As long as you stick some cardboard behind the image to make it sturdy, it will work. So now, as you guys know, I like to use packaging tape to pretty much seal in everything to protect it and just keep it from folding up or getting scratched up or destroyed. Now, I totally had planned not to use packaging tape for this project. I wanted to use clear contact paper, but at the time I could not find any at my local Walmart. And as you guys know, I live in a very country town and you don't really have a lot of other options of places to shop for things. And so I had to work with what I had. I had this um, packaging tape, of course, because I keep packaging tape. And so I'm doing my normal method of how I would pretty much laminate anything, where I'm just going over it in layers um, of packaging tape, going down the line, completely coating him so that way he's protected, he's sealed in, he's shiny. So here's just some better shots of me doing my little layers of packaging tape. Now, if you do the packaging tape method, you will be able to see the lines of tape in your image of the finished product. Um, but if you're not too nitpicky, you won't really much notice it, but it is noticeable if you get right up on it and look at it, you will see the lines from the packaging tape. So if you don't want that, I definitely suggest getting clear contact paper. You could probably even order some on Amazon. I just didn't think about it until it was too late. However option you want to do it, just seal it in so that way it's protected. So here we have our Freddy who is completely taped down to the cardboard. He's taped, he's glued, he's looking beautiful, and now we got to cut him out. I have some X-Acto knives and that's what I'm going to use. I'm gonna put this piece of cardboard underneath my box wherever I'm cutting so I don't accidentally cut through into my floor because I do not want that to happen. Because you need to be able to cut all the way through the cardboard or he's not gonna come off. You want the cardboard and Freddy together as one beautiful piece. So I'm just gonna take my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna go around Freddy's whole body cutting him out. This is a little bit tedious, but totally worth it. Just make sure you cut all the way through your cardboard and do not cut through your floors. Here he is looking beautiful. He's cut out, his back is made of cardboard. I do still have to cut out this little section. I saved that to do afterwards. I just thought it would be easier this way. So here I am just cutting out that little section because I don't want that part of my cutout. The cutting can be tedious, especially if your blades are not the best or if your cardboard is super thick, but you make do with what you got. So now I'm just gonna go over some of the edges that can curl up because of the tape was cut and it's not glued down super well and I'm just going to put some packaging tape on the edges I'm gonna wrap it around from the front to the back it's not gonna be super noticeable since he's already covered in package tape anyways and it's gonna also smooth out some of those rough edges where you had to saw at it with the exacto blade so I did just go around any places I thought could use a little tape down and I just added a little bit of tape Now that I have him done here, I'm going to like reinforce him because he's a little bit flimsy from the creases in my box and it is just one cardboard box thick. So I'm gonna flip him over and I'm gonna add some cardboard scraps to reinforce him and make him a little stronger so he can stand up because he's not really doing us much good if he doesn't stand up. So I'm gonna take some extra pieces of the box that I had trimmed off before and I'm just going to use those to cut off scraps for him. Using some scissors or some kind of blade, I'm just gonna cut my cardboard into some big pieces just to lay across his back. I mainly tried to cover the places where there were creases, but it's probably better that you just cover the entire thing because you don't want your cutout to be flimsy. You want it to stand up, you want it to be tough, you want it to last long term. So here I am just pasting some odd pieces on the back. I know it doesn't look beautiful, but for the most part, no one will probably be looking at the back of your cutout, I would hope. Um, so yeah, if you want to make it neater, you totally can. I wasn't super concerned about making the back of him neat. I did hot glue the pieces of cardboard down to it. And then I actually went over it with the packaging tape to give it some extra sealing in because we all know I love me a good packaging tape reinforcement. 
So yeah, this is me going down the legs. I did have to go back later and reinforce um, at the knee because I put a piece at his thigh and a piece at his shin, which left his knees weak. So I did have to go add more cardboard afterwards to his knee, which I did not catch on video, but just put cardboard all over the back of him until they are completely, you know, sturdy and are not going to be flimsy or falling over or, you know, bending in any way. Here's me just covering it with packaging tape and then I'm gonna move on down to the legs and I'm gonna work on reinforcing the bottom of the leg and also adding extra packaging tape to that area as well. Now I'm going to take one long strip and I'm just going to cut it in half. I want some smaller strips that I can use to make the little pieces that are going to stand up our cardboard cut out. So what I'm going to pretty much essentially do is make like a V here that is going to hold this cut out up. This V is going to attach to the back of each foot and then it's going to lean back on it and that is going to hold up our cut out. Um, I can I would totally suggest if you want making the V longer so it goes up maybe to the knee that would probably be more sturdy but I did not have any issues getting mine to stand up with this small V that I used so what I did is I just, again just took a scrap of cardboard and I folded it in half to give it a crease and now I'm going to add some hot glue to attach it to his feet I'm going to hold it down and let it completely dry before I move at all because I do not want this to come off this has got to be sturdy because it needs to hold up our cutout I'm also going to add a little extra hot glue just for some extra reinforcement. We all know I'm all about that extra reinforcement. Now I'm going to add it to the other little end here and I'm going to just fold that down onto the foot on the other side there as you can see. And now we have a V that will hold up our cutout. You need to do one of these for each foot because obviously he needs two feet to stand. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to just be making one for the other foot. They don't have to be perfect as long as they hold him up and they are sturdy. I know this is not the most beautiful or the most um, technically advanced cutouts, but they are fun. They do still turn out pretty cool, even though they're not perfect. And I was really happy with this one. So now I'm reinforcing my little foot kickstand thing with some extra glue. And you guys know me, I'm going to go in with some packaging tape and add some more reinforcement because why not? So I'm just putting it on the edges. Again, if packaging tape rolls around to the front, it's not even noticeable because you've already covered it in packaging tape anyways. That's it guys. That's all you have to do for your cutout. And look, he stands. You can make one of you. You can make one of your buddies. You can make one of any celebrity you want to put in your room to set up at a party. These are so fun to make. And I mean, like, come on, who couldn't use a really cool big cutout? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see every time I post a new video, I have some Halloween videos coming. So subscribe so you can see my new Halloween videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye.